the question needs the question is saying a satellite orbit the earth is about 87 minutes if its orbital radius is 6500 kilometers use this data to find the mass of the earth okay so let's come up with the free body diagram so what it means there is uh, we have got the earth okay this is the earth and then we have the moon it's the moon right or satellite we have the satellite so this satellite is moving around the moon the the earth and then they are saying that the distance in between basically what it means there guys is this <coughs> i said that the r is this from this center to that point that is the r you can also think of this you can also think of um, if this is the earth and then if this is also the what eh? the satellite okay let me put the earth the comma big circle you can also think of this if this is the earth you know that the earth is also having the its own radius so let's call this one r1 at the same time the satellite is moving around the what eh? the earth so the satellite is also having we can say that eh? so the distance from this point we can call it r1 okay so this r we are calling it r is just the combination of r this let's call it this r2 is a combination of r1 plus r2 have you seen it? that is the combination of those two guys sometimes they can give you the radius of uh, the earth and then they ask you to calculate the what the height because this is the same as the height so you have this one and then yes yes boss okay okay so this question we have got yes mm -hmm. the what the satellite the radius of the satellite is the combination of mm, is this r it's more like we have this so this is the center so the center is this point that is the radius oh you mean the satellite itself you mean the satellite itself yes. no no it doesn't have radius because it is moving around the circle so we are getting the radius of the circle it's the same applies to earth we are getting the radius of the earth yes, yes. so we know that for something to move guys here we are going to exp okay forget about that we have the radius here and then we are going to have what we are going to have for this guy to move around the circle meaning there is what there is a force of gravity so we are going to set this fg equal to the centripetal force so fg let's consider this one as the capital m then the lowercase m fg is just basically g the capital m the small letter m over r squared this has to be called the centripetal force is the small letter because we are getting the centripetal force of the satellite then v squared over r okay so these two guys are the same we can cancel one we can cancel the mass the mass our goal is to calculate the what the mass of the satellite sorry the mass of the earth that's the question okay we can also cancel the uh, one radius we are going to remain with one radius then we have remained with g the mass of the earth over r has to be equal to v squared let's get the square root both side if we do that we are going to find that v is going to be equal to g the mass of the earth over r so if this is what we have 
Okay? That is what we have. And then we know that we have been given the time. This time we can take it as a period. Okay? When something is moving around the circle with the uniform velocity, this formula this formula is true. Distance is given by what? Velocity times time is true. Then we are going to say that V is equal to distance over time. So distance around the circle is the circumference. So it's going to be V is going to be equal to 2 pi R over the T is the period. Okay? So let's just find this period. If you want, if you, want you can replace this one and make uh, M a subject of formula. But the simplest one is let's just solve for what? For V. Then we are going to replace it there. Then we, we make M a subject of formula. We are supposed to come up with the answer. It's the same thing. So if I come up with 2 times pi, the radius is that one which have been given. To convert that one into meters, it's going to be 65,000 or 6. This one then add the 3 zeros. Okay? We divide this one by time. Now, this time is 87 seconds. Oh, it's 87 minutes. To convert this minutes into, into seconds, we are just do times 60. So what is our velocity in that case? 2 Get your calculators and find the answer right. I'm getting 7828.89 Confirm. Confirm. Is that the answer? Same one. Eh? Let's get rid of this. Let's now plug in the values and uh, come up with it. Uh, so we have this formula. We have V is equal to the root of G, the mass of the earth, over R. Our goal is to come up with the mass of the earth. Okay? So we can just put the value, this V, we can just square both sides. If we do that, we are going to have V squared is equal to G M over R. To, to, to solve for M, it's going to be V squared R is equal to G M. Let's divide both sides by G. Let's divide both sides by G. Then we are going to have our M, the mass is going to be M v squared times the r we divide this one by g let's plug in the values so we have the v which is 7823.89 squared times the radius the r which is 6500 we add the 30 to make it in meters we divide g is always 6.67 times 10 to the power negative raven. So the find the answer. What is the mass of the earth? Five point what? Nine six times ten to the power. Twenty-four kgs. So this is the mass of what? The Earth. Simple, right? 